GG
Sorry about that guys, I uh, had to leave really, really, really quick, uh, but I should be back. Uh, let, let me confirm that I'm back. Alright, so I uh, was saying here that, I mean, this is going to be a pretty close race. Uh, Cole with the Fire Mario right now in 1-4. Uh, so if they both got a Fire Mario already, that is because they're both going to be going for a big Fire Mario strat. None of them is going to be trying to do the small Fire Mario or anything like that. And so that being still pretty, pretty close so far right here, finishing 1-4. So we're going to be starting right now with world number two. Ideally, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, world number two should be kind of a straightforward. Uh, just sometimes in 2-2, there might be a little bit of uh, ship ships on your way as well as in 2-3. Those ship ships in the water and also those jumping ship ships can be quite tricky more than once. No problems here in one in two dash one. I'm sorry. Again, uh, world number two should usually be kind of straightforward. I did, uh, this world, uh, world number, I mean, 2-2 two two should be not that bad when you have the Fire Mario because if any ship sheets or bloopers or anything like that comes into your way, um, you shouldn't have that much trouble because you can just kill them with the fire. Uh, if you don't have, like, a Fire Mario, then it can be a little bit more tricky because you cannot kill the stuff that is on your way and it can definitely, definitely, definitely cost you some time right there. Put the runners here, no issues in 2-2. And let's see if they don't get any any weird uh, ship ships on the way. Uh, normally 2-3 is not that bad in regards of random ship ship stuff. Uh, it's not as 7-3, uh, but we can see Keku had to slow down just a tiny little bit right there. Because that ship ship was definitely going to be on his way, so he was able to kill it. And Andrea does that a small uh, jump right there, I mean crouching jump, to be able to get past that guy easier. More of these runners having a really really good 2-3 I think Andrea... Oh never mind, I was about to say that Andrea got a little bit of time right there on Kaku for not slowing down not even a bit. However, at the very end he had to slow down because he got bumped into the start. 2-4 second castle in the whole game. Uh, Ah, uh, pretty clean so far. Pretty clean race so far. No big mistakes. Uh, just like pretty standard stuff. Minor, 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 minor movement optimization here and there, but so far so good for both runners. And guess what, guys? Princess is in another castle. Been searching for the princess for over 30 years now, and she's still in another castle. What's with this princess just moving from castle to castle? Making Mario Chaser. Make her Mario Chaser to 33 years later deny getting married with him. Feels bad, man. Feels Mario, man. A little bit of uh, issues right there at the end of for Kaku, the call being able to make up a little bit of time here in 3 1. Now, 3-2 um, is uh, one of those stages that you can almost just hold forward, and that's pretty much it. Similar to like other stages like 4-1 or many stages that are kind of simple in the way that you can run through them. Not a lot of difficult patterns to jump between or do platforming stuff. Feels Red Luigi, man. Indeed, feels Red Luigi. But yeah, and 3-3 is also not that complicated when you already know what's going on. Overall, War 3, I think the hardest one is either 3-1 or 3-4. 
Uh, both 3.2 and 3.3 are kind of simple when you already know them. And we can see these runners very, very experienced again, not having issues at all in board 3 and still super close race right now, hoping into 3-4. Okay, nice uh, avoiding of that potable right there for both runners and a good fire uh, bar pattern. Oh, okay, okay, uh, a little bit, yeah, the call had to slow down a little bit right there. It was getting very, very tricky situation, but both runners still able to keep their uh, power ups and no issues on that side. And heading into world number 4, we still have a super super tight race right now. Uh, again, 4-1 is one of the levels that I was saying, there's really not much going on, it's pretty much just straightforward running. That Lucky 2 is too bad at aiming the spinies. And <laughs> yeah, he's pretty bad. He cannot catch up with Mario running. Uh, the only thing that would potentially could happen is if they attempt to go for a black ball blitz at the end of 4 1. That's the only way to save uh, time on this level, uh, to, si to save a frame rule. But not a big deal in the big scheme of things uh, right now, especially for a race environment. So none of these decided to like go for that. If you don't get it, you in, uh, on the otherwise you lose a little bit of time if you don't get the flagpole glitch because the flagpole animation and Mario getting into the little castle at the end takes a little bit longer. If you uh, get to the flagpole from the bottom rather than from the very top, like right there, Kaku did it from the very bottom, so that's like five frames is lower than what the call did from the very top. Again, you could still potentially get the same the exact same frame rule. However, it's usually better to go for the very, very top of the black hole. So for three here, uh, I really like these stages with like the moving platforms and the mushroom, like the super tall mushroom stuff. Not much going on in Forza 3 and we're going to be going to the first maze stage right here uh the first one out of three different maze castles i usually forgot that a dash four is also a maze but yeah there, there's like three different maze castles and when you really know the route for it it's really not that complicated because i guess the gimmick of this stage was for you to get lost but the actual enemies or traps and stuff not that bad however this bowser as you can see it's one of the hardest ones because it's not only Bowser right there, but you also have the fire bar and the potaboo. So that can definitely, definitely caught a lot of people off guard, for sure. And work 5 is where the fun begins, this is where a lot of tricky stuff can begin to happen. We have seen many, many runners struggling uh, during the tournament, starting World 5, uh, with a lot of races even being forfeited in this stage of the run. Uh, 5-1 here for Keku was pretty good, beginning of 5-2 you can go either YOLO or you can go safe because there's a bullet bill at the very beginning, so let's see what Keku does here. And yeah, he had to go a little bit safe otherwise he was gonna get sniped by that, uh, by that bullet bill. And not only that, there's also some hammer brothers here that can be very, very, very tricky, very trollish. A uh, good pattern right there for Kaku. Now let's see if Andrea is able to keep its power up until the end of this stage. Yeah, take that, you Hammer Brothers. You're not gonna troll me today. I gotta catch Kaku right now, so yeah, eat my fire. Alright, and now here in 5 3, the problem in 5 3, it's like pretty much the same thing as 1 3. Except with a lot of random bullet bills here and there that may may might trick you into the jumps, and we can we saw cold there with a very very dangerous jump jump. Ah, uh, but okay, so boot runners still still just a few seconds away from each other, and man, this is a close race. 
and it got to take in there the flower power up. The reason he did that was to wait a little bit for the fire bars to actually accommodate uh, in a proper way. So you just try to run through them. Uh, Cole doing it a little bit cleaner, but as soon as I was speaking, there was a snipe right there by Bowser and the Potaboo. Okay, he was able to get past it, but he's now small Mario. And Kaku's gonna make a little bit of advantage right here because of that, because now Cole's gotta take a little bit of time to recover the power-ups here. Definitely, I think he's gonna be trying to do that in 6-1. It's one of like the faster and safer methods at this point of the race. And especially because you definitely want to go ahead and do 6-2 with your fire power. Uh, because 6-2 with a lot of pipes, a lot of piranha plants, a lot of bad things can happen if you don't have fire Mario. So yeah, Cole definitely opting to go for the power-ups right now. And just Kaku making up a little bit of time right there in the advantage in the lead of this race. Uh, like two-thirds already done. Uh, from the race so far and stuff like the margin of error is getting tighter and tighter and the potential for the cold to be able to catch up for Kaku is slimmer now but it, it can definitely happen again just one single dodge can really really change the, the way that things can go especially for such a close match as we have it right now The only ice stage right now, 6-3, I really hope that there were more ice stages in the whole run. I, I, I just like it so much, the setup, the dark background, the mechanics, even though the mechanics don't really matter for a race uh, with such experienced runners. Because what the ice does is that if you are running and you want to stop, you don't lose your momentum, you don't lose your speed like as fast as in a regular stage. You can just slide like if you were in real ice. Which is a pretty cool mechanic I want to say for this being an 85 game. Uh, but yeah, again, not much going on in a race environment. Uh, with that being said, pretty, pretty nice stage right here by Kaku. Uh, the call also waiting for the fire bars to accommodate to be able to just run through the stage here. Boom, boom, boom. And take that. So long, uh, Bowser. No deaths so far, pretty much a deadless race so far, only one hit on the cold side. And moving on into 7-1, they're still on the same stage right now. Just like maybe half a stage of advantage so far for Kaku. Losing a little bit of time right there, bumping but recovering pretty good. Oh, that Hammer Brother was on a very, very, very tricky spot right there. And pretty good call right there, aware of the timer. Uh, he was about to finish on a tree, which would have given him uh, three fireworks. However, he was very, very aware, which shows how focused he is right now on the race. And if he would have landed on the tree, he would have lost time for getting three fireworks at the end. For those of you that don't know, there's like a, some fireworks celebrations at the end that you can get. If your timer finishes with a 6, a 3, or a 1. If it finishes with a 1, it's pretty much the same as if you would have waited. You really don't lose time for just one firework. But if you finish on a 3, on a 6, the story is much different. Especially with a 6, you would lose a lot of time for waiting 6 fireworks to actually show up. Okay, so the call right now, no big issues. Kaku as well, no big issues. 7 2 is pretty much 2 2 with asteroids. Like, it seems that ship ships have a uh, hatch, like a lot of more ship ships have hatch from the X. And there's just a bunch more of fishes in the same pond. And speaking of fishes, speaking of ship ships. They also like to jump a lot like Thomas and man, Kaku with that unfortunate hit, man. Oh, Cole is definitely gonna make up a lot of time because of that. Especially because Kaku is gonna... Like, the pattern is weirder now. So when you stop in this stage, it can get pretty dangerous. And not only that, he's gonna be moving on with just a mushroom into 7-4. And we'll see if he takes time here. I don't even know. I don't think... I don't, I'm not sure if there's a flower in 7-4, I think there is one. 
Ah, uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely, this is gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty close if everything goes right right now. I, after X being 7 dash for... Oh, never mind, I believe there's no power-ups in this. So, he's gonna have to wait for the Bowser animation by hitting the axe. He's gonna give, uh, Paul again, a little bit more time and making things super, super tight, getting into World 8, man. This is the race that I was expecting. I was expecting a very, very close race. And definitely, we can see, we can see... I'm not even sure, maybe the call got the lead by like a one frame blue or something? The call might be just slightly ahead, or if not, they're just pretty much in sync right now. This is insane. And you know what? Uh, Kaku can opt to not go for Fire Mario right now. It doesn't really matter that much into World 8, because uh, as long as you hit the axe, that's it. That's the end of the race. You don't need to wait for the animation to hit your timer or anything like that. And Cole getting a little bit of a lead right now. The five jumps are gonna be easier for the Cole here with the Fire Mario. Yeah, we see Kaku having to slow down. And man, man, with a very, very, very exciting turn of events right now, the Cole is taking the lead by a little bit on World 8, guys. What a turn of events right now. What a turn of events. Amazing race right now. Amazing race. Just last three levels so far, guys. Again, Kaku doesn't need to stop anymore on getting a... for getting a fire. And actually, speaking of which, I think it could have been even uh, wiser to not take the mushroom on 7-3, especially taking into consideration that he was gonna need to do the axe anyway for 7-4. And maybe it might be easier to do a small Mario right now on World 8 for being used 20%. And man, Kaku is in the lead once again. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna get crazy here. I'm gonna go crazy. A little bit of movement issues right there. A little bit of optimization execution issues right there for the call. And Kaku is on a slight lead once again. In 8 dash 3, it's just like a second of difference right now. Oh man, and he pumps and he gets a hit, and Cole is on the lead again, guys. Cole is back on the lead. What's going on here? What's going on? He's gonna slow down a bit. Yeah, there you go. Man, 242 and 240. It's just a very, very, very few. It's very, very few frame rules of difference right now. Anything can happen. Like, um, uh, wall jump might be the difference here, or, I don't know, a hit on call side might make it even. Uh, a bump like that, a bump like that can make time to make up a little bit of time, guys. What's going on? What's going on in here? Man, I cannot, I, I, I cannot watch this. I cannot watch this. This is so close. This is so intense. Man, Kaku is on the lead again. Kaku, 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 what's going on? He got into the pipe, but he got hit. Man, what's going on right now? What a close race. What an exciting match, man. Man, this is insane. Oh, man. Man. And he waits there. He waits. And he gets a 1945. And I think it was 1945 for both. And guys, they both go as a long time as 19. 49 Man Man I believe this is a tie They both got 1945 on the timer that they got and they would go 1949 on Ezreal time. Wow, this is just so insane. This is so insane. It 
he deacts maybe a second faster, but that's because that, uh, a stream on the cold side was a second uh, behind. Like the, the the seconds were not exactly in sync; they were like a second apart, and they pretty much hit dawn on SRL at the same time as well. Like the official SRL time for both, it was 1949. It was definitely the exact same for both, right there. It, it, it happened at the same time. It really happened at the same time. They both got SRL time of 1949. So at this point, uh, we're gonna consider this as a tie. Uh, they're both. They both. Uh, they're both gonna be getting a coin right now. Uh, and whoever wins match number two is gonna be the winner of it all. Let's see. Okay, hold on one second. I think Daka is looking at the VOD right now. Let's let's see. The problem is uh, with just a point two seconds. If they started the race just um, like two milliseconds away. From pressing the, the first start, that cannot be fair if we don't consider this a tie for just two milliseconds. If they didn't press start at like the same time or something like that. I think the best the best call in this scenario. I think the best call on this scenario is uh, let's go ahead. Uh, give me, let let us take a quick break to make the final decision, guys. Don't go anywhere. Be right back.
Alright guys, so here we are. Here we are with race number two, guys. What an insane thing we just lived. What an insane thing we just lived. Guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and follow the runners right now. Go ahead, follow those runners, because this was just insane, guys. This was just insane. They definitely deserve uh, to be <laughs> to be followed right now. And yeah, guys, the official decision that we have to take right now, it's going to be a tie. Um, SRL time was pretty much the same. It was just like a 0.2 milliseconds difference in here. Maybe we would need to count the frames to really know if that was the case or not. Uh, so definitely, 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 uh, uh, I mean, we had to take this decision. It's going to be a tie. So yeah, the winner of this race decides who mobs on, on the winner side and who goes to the loser side. Uh, I don't want to see any of these two runners go into the loser side, but man, it's a tournament. It is what it is. It has to happen. Eventually there's going to be just one winner. So Good luck to both runners. I would love to see a uh, race number three between them. But again, <laughs> that's what happened, man. That, that was an insane, insane race to watch. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded right now. And right, here we go. So, again, uh, Kaku deciding to go for a power up again, starting on World 1-1. Uh, this makes it, uh, I guess that's the safer strat right there. And 370 and 365, that's normal again because of the mushroom. And Kaku, I believe, is going to be taking the fire power in 1 2. The reason for that is because it, it's ideally like, uh, of course, it's, it's uh, safer to do it that way. It's definitely safer to do it that way. Uh, because 1 2 can be one tricky stage. Uh, the small Mario. <laughs> As I was speaking, man. As I was speaking, the call with that very early death, he's gonna have to to swim against the current right here. Uh, catch up now because he's still small Mario. He got an early death. A cactus is already with full power ups right now. So let's go ahead and see what's up here. Uh, definitely gonna be a, a tough one right now again from Andrea. But we saw that on last match. We saw Andrea having to like go against the current for almost the whole race and then suddenly on 7-3 he took the lead and then it was just crazy from there. Uh, and also from all the deaths that Andrea or the Cole could have got, this is probably one of the less painful ones. He didn't really lose that much time for that death. However, he's taking it a little bit slow here, a little bit safe to get that motion power up right there. Uh, he didn't wanna like just Falling to the pit because of the momentum or something. So yeah, Kaku with a little bit of an early lead right now. Uh, here into 1-4. We'll see Andrea, I guess, taking the fire flower here as well. I don't think he's gonna go for like small Mario uh, improvisation strats or something. And again, it's also like faster to just be big Mario. It's faster to be big Mario, but it's riskier. Uh, small Fire Mario is a safer, fastest strat, but again, it's slower than just Big Fire Mario. Okay, so so far so good for both runners making that world one. Kaku with uh, like a little bit more of half a stage to lead right now, I believe. Uh, here into dash one, going on into the first water level in just a moment. And yeah, to catch to the water level again with not so many ship ships uh, shouldn't be a problem for any runner here. It's it it's all it almost feels like an outer scroller sometimes to me at least uh, <laughs> because the the swimming can be kind of uh, it's not like A-4 where you really really have to optimize very very specific sections of the swimming. 
here. As long as you keep moving forward and killing the enemies, you should be fine. But we still got to there stopping a little bit. There was a little bit of a weird uh, blooper and chip chip pattern right there. Uh, so he had to slow down just for a tiny little bit where Cole is going to be able to make maybe a second. We so he didn't need to slow down in that section. And there you go. So let's gonna see because I believe uh, 308 on the timer. We'll see what's gonna be the final time for the calling here. And it's gonna be oh that bomb a 307. That bomb caused that little bit of a makeup of time right there. And now we see the jumping chip chips. Not much going on in through that tree, you can pretty much just run straight forward. You can shoot your fireballs to see if you snipe one of those ship ships on its way up. But other than that, pretty straightforward stage. And Kaku going into 2 dash 4 right now. Uh, 2-4 should be a no problem for both of the runners. Uh, oh, taking a little bit of a slowdown right there. He didn't feel confident enough maybe to do that jump. Uh, firing the Koopa right here. And yeah, yeah, you guessed it guys, you guessed it. We have another Toad again. And the princess is in another castle. Oh, that Koopa for Cole was being a little bit tricky right there. Three dash one. Three dash one can be a little bit tricky again. I believe it's the trickiest of the stages in World Three. The way some of the platforms are uh, set up with the enemy patterns that can spawn can definitely make up uh, for really tricky jumping. Especially, well, you know, you have Hammer Brothers, this little piece of turtles right here, and then some turtles here in the stairs at the end. But there you go. Both runners having a really, really good time around the three dash one. And uh, three two. Not much going on. Just a time to ask the, the viewers how is everybody doing today? They're enjoying this race. Remember, we're gonna be having more races for the tournament. The tournament is not done yet. We have many, many participants still uh, in the tournament. So I'm gonna post the link for the schedule and for the bracket as well. Uh, okay, so 3 2, it's over. Uh, 3-3 shouldn't be a problem either. It, it might look a little bit trickier the way it's set up, but uh, if you know what is going on, there shouldn't be an issue with 3-3 either. It's also kind of straightforward. Just gotta know you're jumping. But here we go to 3-4. Ooh. And things can definitely happen on 3-4. To jump, jump, put a boom, and jump again. The fire bar is here. Fire bar to the truth. Okay, so far so good. More tricky butter boost. Had to slow down the momentum a little bit to make up for those jumps. And everything's good for Kaku. Let's see now the call again. The fire bars of the truth. It's good. Butter boost number one. Slowing down a little bit more than Kaku did. Uh, but it's good, it's better than losing your power up, and yeah, there you go. And another stage to chill, relax, get some popcorn, and watch Lucky 2 miserably fail at throwing spine at you. Yeah, you're right, you guessed it. It is 4 1. And there you go. Again, the only thing that you could potentially do in this stage is try to go for a black ball glitch and save one frame rule over your opponent, but that's definitely a very, very hard trick and doesn't save that big of a time on the grand scheme of things. Okay, so we saw uh, Kaku going top route last time. Okay, so yeah. He missed it going with the platform, with the moving platform, but he opted to go through it uh, from the second pipe. Not a big time loss, but can definitely be a time loss uh, if Andrea does it right. Andrea seems to be more comfortable with the bottom route, 
uh, which he's doing right now. So we saw a 342 on Cactus side, we should definitely see a little bit better than that from the call because, yeah, here 4 2 was definitely pretty good. And uh, yeah, a couple seconds here saved on the call side. Okay, for the street, again, one of those cool looking stages. Easy nonetheless. And heading into the first maze castle. Whoa! Okay, Andrea having to slow down a little bit there. Uh, kind of unexpected, I want to say, maybe. Uh, he was not feeling confident enough on some of the jumping and movement there. So again, it's just, it's, it's just better to wait a second than losing like 20 seconds for a dumb mistake every now and then. So yeah, pretty good decision right there by the phone. Well, let's go, Kaku. The hard, one of the harder Bowser patterns because of all the stuff going on in front of Bowser. Saving yet another toad. Mario should be pressing enough Mushroom Kingdom by saving all of these citizens and the princess and all that. The, the Prime Minister, he should be of the Mushroom Kingdom because we all know that he cannot be king as much as he wants to. So speaking of which, Peach is actually Princess Peach. So who are actually the king and the queen of the Mushroom Kingdom? They have never been revealed as far as I know. But yeah, I just thought that Prince Peach is princess, so she must have like a king and a queen as parents, right? Until she becomes Queen Peach. A little bit of Mario <laughs> Mario lore uh, questions right there. Five dash two here on the call. Uh, he tried to save a little bit of time right there, getting Jolo uh, on the first bullet bill. But that's what I was talking about on the previous race. That the bullet bill at the beginning can be troll and uh, and snipe you right at the beginning. Andrea wanted to save maybe like a second in there, but unfortunately he got hit. He's gonna be able to recover uh, the fire flower pretty soon in five dash three if he wants to do so. However, 5-3 might be a tricky one of the stage to get a power up because of the random bullet bills that are spawning right after you. Toad and Toadette are the... Are they really king and queen? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, so as I was saying, the call opted to not go for the power up here in 5-3 because it can be very, very tricky to try to get a power up in that level with so many bullet bills uh, spawning at you and potentially, like, really, really modifying the way you have to slow down, get momentum, and do jumps on that world. Uh, a little bit better to take it here in 5 4. We'll see if the fire bars are properly in line for him. It seems like so, yeah. So, not a, like, really, not a time loss here to get that in 5 4. Oh man, the particle right there. Oh man, that was very, very, very unfortunate right there for the goal. But again, we already see that last race. We saw that Kaku was already in 6 1, and we saw that the goal had to get the power ups on 6 1, uh, heading into 6 2 uh, again, because you really need it. You really want to get Fire Mario in 6 2. And that was pretty much the exact same scenario for last race, so let's see. Let's see what happens in here. Man. This is this is getting this is getting this is getting pretty exciting again. It's like <laughs> it's so similar the scenario that we have compared to last race right now. And right now it's Kaku's race to lose right now. Let's see, let's see if we can keep the pace. Or if something weird is gonna happen on his side. Okay, pretty good 6 2 for both runners here. And 6 3, the ice stage, the most cool looking stage on the whole game. Uh, but not much going on. <laughs>
they're pretty much one stage apart at this moment. Uh, the goal is just starting 60-3, what Kak was already on 6-4. Taking a little bit of time right there for the fire bar to properly line up. Okay, and let's see how they are in here. Everything's pretty good right now. So he shouldn't have any trouble with this Bowser. Yep. So we see a little bit of me that uh, runners do with that moving platform on top of every uh, on top of some browser uh, on top of some bowsers, I'm sorry. Uh, they kind of bump into it to stop the momentum 100% and be able to shoot as many fireballs into Bowser as possible. We're gonna see the cold doing that right now. While Kaku, oh, the lag, the lag is real with so many hammers on the screen right there. Pretty good, seven dash one for their uh, for Kaku. Again, I mean, first should be usually uh, pretty common to wait in there because. That's what you would most likely get. If you do this stage properly, you would get a tree at the end. So the runners are already 100% aware of just waiting a tiny little bit of a second right there. And I believe the other day, one of the commentators mentioned that actually, if you hit the timer on the exact same second that it changes from 3 to 2, that I believe that you can save, I mean, this very exact frame, I believe you can still save one frame rule in 7-1. I think that's what I remember. Uh, don't quote me on that 100%, but I believe that's what can happen, that you can save one frame rule on 7-1. If you land on the flagpole on the exact same frame where the timer changes from 3 to 2. Oh, this blooper, oh man, this blooper, this blooper being the gatekeeper right there for Kaku. And little by little, stuff can't happen like that. That blooper didn't want Kaku to keep moving on. Uh, he was like, hey, hey, let's wait for the call. Let's wait for the call here. Yeah, you're not going to go into the pipe. Oh, but that same blooper is also doing weird stuff here for the call, man. And that blooper being the gatekeeper right there for 7 dash 2 for both of the runners. But still, I believe the goal made it past like 4 seconds of in-game time faster than Kaku did. So, saving a little bit of time, heading here into the last part of the World 7. And we're just gonna be one world. One more world before this finishes. Alright, so let's go. Uh, let's go here. Uh, again, the, one of the maze, uh, the maze castles, not a big deal. Uh, we have seen some of the runners looping the castle because of going a little bit too far to the right in moments where they couldn't go. I mean, in moments where, uh, in unfortunate moments that just made the castle loop. Like, if you go a little bit far to the right, uh, even if you go back to it, uh, we still call doing that. Uh, yeah, you can loop the castle a little bit, and uh, you have to do the same section once again. Okay, there you go. Okay, and it's only World 8 now, guys. Uh, kind of different uh, events happening right now. We saw Kaku last time with no power ops into World 8, while well, this time around he has Fire Mario. While the call to have Fire Mario he is a little bit behind, maybe like half the stage behind right now. So let's see how this goes. Alright, 8 2 now. Let's see the first jump here. Okay. Oh. Almost okay. You got a little bit of a bump right there on the stairs. But the rest of the stage should be good, I believe. There's not much trouble after that. Yeah, and he's gonna... No, he doesn't wanna go for the bullet field glitch. Uh, man, this is still too close. It's just like half of stage of difference right now. 
and we only have two stages right now and we saw last race just change uh, lead like so many times in the very last stage but man the call having a little bit of trouble here with those Koopas and that bullet bill and that's definitely making up uh, to Kaku for some really really good time right here in the very last stretch of the run not having trouble there with uh, any of the Hammer Brothers and it's only 8-4 that separates them away it's either a mistake for Kaku or a win for Kaku at this point in time all, all that Cole can do is just keep going as fast as possible but it's really not on his hands at this moment so far so good And unfortunately, Keith was over there by the goal, but that doesn't really matter on 8-4 either. 8-4 uh, can be easily done as small Mario. Actually, a lot of runners are more used to doing 8-4 as small Mario because of any percent run. And yeah, we can see like, for example, the swinging can be a little bit hard right there as big Mario. Uh, so, last room here for Kaku. And the bottom who? The Bowser gets hit, doesn't matter, and done for Kaku, GG's right there for Kaku, with an official time of 1936. The official winner of this amazing race between these two runners, man, what a match, what a match. Oh, and Andrea, very unfortunate hit right there with the potable. Man. Oh, man. Let's give it up for Andrea as well. That was an amazing race, nonetheless. So unfortunate to see this happen at the very, very end, last moment. While well, he was almost finished. Okay, and now in the water section here for Andrea, blue curse please, fire bars please. Okay, the hammer bars, the butterfly, and now Bowser here, and boom, GG's to Andrea as well, with that last time of 20.58 in the official SRL time. Let's give it up some GG's for Andrea as well, that was an amazing race for both. We'll see if we can have Adrian on the microphone for a moment. Uh, I know Kaku's not going to be joining. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but let's see if Adrian wants to join here for a, a commentary at the end. And let's see. Okay, yeah, I believe uh, the call is coming here. Yeah, guys, so prepare. If you have any questions for the call here, this is your time. He's going to be joining in just a moment. Hey, Cole. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, uh, I mean... Uh... And uh, that has been the, the outcome. Uh, it looks like I lost again, but I'm overall okay with how we played. Uh, I think that without that early death, this could have been a close race. Unfortunately, Kaku didn't have any major mistakes, so uh, I mean uh, that that death was really stupid. So uh, what you can do? I mean that happened, and unfortunately, I could have won uh, even game one if it wasn't for. I decided to play safe uh, uh, at the turnaround in the castle, and I got punished because at that point they paid they paid on a plan spawn. <laughs> oh yeah, and, I, I need that. And I think I and I think uh, Kaku caught up in that point, and then uh, I got some bad RNG in the second round. But I cannot really. I mean, 
it would have been double sub, sub 20. I mean, that, that, that death at the end that didn't really matter at that point. But I mean, without that death, uh, how much I lost because of that death? I think I lost something like uh, 11 seconds. I lost. Yeah, no, I was still it... was still behind, but I mean, Kaku did a great job. Um, I think I need to work more on my big early and ending game if I want to be if I want to really be a threat for top players. Uh, too shaky right, mo- right now, and especially World One, I cannot afford a death every four races. There, that simply cannot work. And uh, and then I also say dash two is still too too shaky. I need, I need to be more. I need to play more. Uh, I need to play better that level. I I lose too much time there, and because this I decide to play safe, but then I I started playing too safe. I don't take any risk, so uh, that's bad. I need to work on that. And that H2 has it's always been a pain for me. And uh, yeah, and like, and again, I also got trolled by the <laughs> by the the, the, the blopper and seven dash two, and that that made me lose a lot of time. Honestly, how much time did I lose there? I lost a lot. I lost uh, something like uh, I don't. I no. I lost something. Ah, not even that much. I lost like like five seconds. But uh, yeah, against Kaku, against player like Kaku, you need to play flawlessly, otherwise you get punished. But I was aware of that, and I actually, I had been a good contender at least. I, I Kaku need to play at his best to beat me. That's that's already something. I mean, it means that it means that I'm mean, actually the direction is the correct one. I'm improving, and yeah, it looks like I need to <laughs> climb climb the, the loser bracket once again, right from the beginning, in order to <laughs> claim a, a good result. Oh, oh that, yeah, man, that was a lot of races, man. <laughs> just, oh, God. Uh, I get last, you. The last tournament, I had to play find like ten races in the loser bracket. It was something. My my God, like we took forfeit, so. And ten races. Oh my god, it was I was there a lot of races and looks like I I mean and at this point uh, since uh, I mean, Kaku loses against the winner of uh, I mean Cosmic Ooh. and uh, Elui next we may have a rematch so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully I hope hope for Kaku that we will not have a rematch at that point because it would mean that uh, he is in the finals. Again. So I mean, plus to Kaku, I mean, not surprise is super cons- super consistent, super uh, super strong player. And I think I think I did pretty well. I, mean, I cannot really be too mad for my performance. I did. Man, I think I played well. I think no. you did amazingly good, man. I, and that first race was just insane. Like, yeah, uh, mistakes happen on both sides, but you you changed leads like three times between eight three and eight four. Yeah. Like it was crazy to see how leads were changing here and there for many, many different stuff. And <laughs> yeah, like you mentioned, that did on one dash two on the second race. Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate. We have seen actually a lot of runners. Uh, don't feeling too comfortable going into one dash two because we know it can be tricky as a small Mario, and they actually opt to go for the mushroom in one dash one. Yeah. yeah, I probably should revert back to those. But I, I think Aku does still. That's, that's still the day the mushroom in one dash one, then the flower fight flower in one dash two. Yeah. I think this still is that. I probably should revert back to that. The point is I, I don't like this strat because then I don't I don't know how to handle the, the Goomba in the in the middle of one dash two. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I, I, I don't think... really like that spot. So that's why I prefer okay, let's just play and then I the, the point is that I died in a very stupid spot because uh, I didn't even die in the Goomba. And then the first one. Yeah, I don't know. I just my input just missed. It. Ah, just, ah, <laughs> I mean, uh, then I think uh, I, I had a couple levels I didn't really play well. I'm not really satisfied by my castles. Three dash four was was janky. Five dash four has been jank, janky both races. Um, the second one I could I should have uh, I didn't improve that because I mean the fact that the second fireball was low was clear was clear. I should have read that way before crashing into that. Uh, yeah, I still, I mean, that is very good. There are still uh, a lot of mistakes to, to correct and to work on. And, and unfortunately, I, the level is really high and you cannot afford to... This, this little imprecisions, that cannot, that cannot happen if you want to be competitive. And still okay with the kind of the race. So, 
I'm not really complaining. Okay, and moving forward, you're gonna be facing against Cantaloupe Me. Uh, we know that he's more known for like sell the speedruns and other things, but he has definitely been putting time, and he's capable of getting like twenties and probably sub twenties already at this point, or maybe by the time of the race, he has been practicing. How do you feel heading against into uh, Cantaloupe Me? Hmm, that's gonna be an interesting match. I mean, uh, uh, he's a very experienced racer. He he did a lot of races in the past, not Mario related, more Zelda related. He's uh, one of the second best player in Zelda One, if I'm not mistaken, behind Lakata. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a cool guy. Uh, he, I usually watch his stream. Uh, it's uh, definitely a uh, definitely gonna be a good match. And uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we'll see what what can, what happens. Of course, I mean, I'm, for, of course, I, I I'm not gonna be the underdog there. Uh, that's I don't think that's gonna be a good thing for me because pressure would be on me. He is, he is the one who has nothing to lose, but I have everything to lose there. And this is just SMB races. I mean, if something like that happens again, they lose. They lose again. So, but who knows? Next week I have plenty of time to, to practice. So we'll see. What I will be able to pull off. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this race, so I actually I proved myself. I can I can be competitive. Uh, I still need something to be able to beat to beat the top players, but I'm definitely close. So um, that's, that's good. good. Good vibes from this race. Definitely good vibes. I'm gonna take uh, what is positive from this loss and work more on what I am still uh, lacklustering. And see, and imagine next time I'll be face Kaku finally, <laughs> finally beat him because this is the second <laughs> time he, he, he shot me in the loser bracket. And actually, have another another uh, ending like the previous tournament would be would be good, both for him and for he and for me. See. I will see. All right. Uh well, uh, before we close the stream, do you have any last words? Yeah, GG to Kaku, amazing races. Uh, you're still going strong. You're still going strong and looking forward for a rematch, uh, maybe later in the tournament or whenever you want. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Uh, well, thank you for the race. It was amazing to watch. Uh, it was an honor to commentate. Uh, GG's to Kaku. Unfortunately, he was not able to join us here in the microphone. And uh, thank you for all the viewers here on the tournament. I hope that you're enjoying the races. Remember that we're going to be having more races. I think the next one is going to be. Um, Cosmic versus Aldin or Lulex Z, uh, however you want to call him. And it's going to be on Tuesday, very, very late at night, especially for like you. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there, there's always a VOD, that's right. And well, thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoy it and have a good one. See you on the next race. Bye bye.